they recognize who is at fault. All this, there's a lot of talk from the punding class that, oh, it will never work tying McCain to Bush because he's such a maverick. He has such a record of standing up uh, against his own party. No one will ever buy it. But that message has gotten through loud and clear. Uh, not only because McCain's voting record is very tied to George Bush, despite the isolated examples of disagreement. But during the course of the campaign, McCain has been unable to articulate what he would do differently. Now, he had an opportunity to do that at various stages of the game, but he chose not to. I mean, and I've talked about this in past shows. McCain was trapped between appeasing the conservative base and reaching out to the swing, because the swing had gotten so far away from the conservative base after eight years of conservative failure. So he had to make a call. Do you reach out to the swing and make a clear break with Bush and and essentially tell his conservative base voters, hey, suck it up, I'm the best you got? Uh, Or do you keep appeasing the base because you need their their energy and their donations and their their canvassing? They're pounding the pavement. Uh, you know, when McCain uh, flirted, flirted the idea of picking Joe Lieberman as his vice presidential choice, he was told that the conservative delegates at the Republican National Convention would revolt and not, not endorse him. They essentially blackmailed him. And McCain, for all his talk about being a leader and standing up to his party, went along. So he made very clear when push comes to shove who he was going to stand by. And that's why... That in this late stage of the game, and believe me, the muck isn't done. There, This is going to be uh, an ugly last two weeks, I am sure. But what is going to make their heads explode is Obama maintains his composure at all times. This You, you, you saw this, I think, in the Democratic primary with uh, his rivals there, that they kept pounding and pounding and pounding and needling and needling and needling. And nothing would get under his skin, and it drove them crazy. And they lost their cool, and their tones would shift dramatically day to day. You see this with McCain right now. One day, he's trying to tap down uh, the super crazy at his rallies. The next day, he's hyping up Bill Ayers again. Uh, He can't decide what to do. Uh, So that's why I still feel very good about what's going to happen on Election Day. But I can only stress time and time again, uh, you you can't fully trust polls. Uh... You generally shouldn't trust polls, but particularly this year, because nobody knows the demographics of the turnout. No one knows if young voters are going to show up. No one knows to what degree African-American turnout is going to be heightened. No one knows exactly where these undecided voters are going to break. There's still a lot of fluidity. There's still softness in the support. Uh, So you have to do what you can uh, to get those voters out by knocking on doors, uh, by getting people to the polls on Election Day of people who are interested in doing that canvassing. Uh, it's happening at uh, uh, Western Mass for Obama. Uh, meets at Sheldon Field on the weekends. On Sunday, they meet at 10.30 a.m. They carpool up to New Hampshire. Uh, they also do it on Saturdays at 8.30 in the morning, at, also leaving from Sheldon Field. And I know that if you go down to the Western Mass for Obama office in uh, Thorns, the bottom of Thorns, uh, they're definitely looking for folks on the last weekend of October and on Election Day uh, for help getting people out to the polls. And now let's even assume, let's assume that it is a lock. Let's assume that there's no way you can make up uh, a 10-point deficit in the last two weeks because none of this muck seems to stick. Well, man, you want to run up the score. You do not want to have a closer election than it needs to be. You want to humiliate them. You want to take this eight years of conservative failure and you want to bury it deep, deep, deep down in the ground. You want to make fundamentally clear that the country has rendered its verdict you want to burn the failure of george bush on conservatism for a generation the way that republicans did uh to democrats with jimmy carter and it is way more deserved at least jimmy carter had an accomplishment or two he had the Camp David Accords, which uh, produced peace between Israel and Egypt that still lasts today. There is still something there to point to. There is literally nothing. Nothing. Think of it right now. I dare you. Come up with something that this administration did 
for anybody besides you can't even say he did something for Wall Street. He screwed over Wall Street. He screwed over everybody. So that failure needs to be burned deep down, and that means you got to run up the score uh, as much as possible on election day.